Hey, what is up guys? It's Caffeinated Burger, and today we're going to talk about um, the best class setup for each game mode, and today I'm going to be talking about Search and Destroy and what I think is the best uh, class setup for this game mode. Now, this is off my personal preference and what I think helps the most and what is the best class to use for this particular game mode. So today we're doing Search and Destroy. And I'm going to go through the primary, secondary, lethal, tactical, optics, attachments, and the perks. And what I think are the best. So, just to start off here, I'm going to say, I like LMGs in Search and Destroy. I didn't, I was really leaning towards Sniper, like the Dracon, because um, I like how it was uh, semi-automatic, um, not bolt, but... Then I started playing with the LMGs, and I was like, I actually like this. And my favorite out of the LMGs are, um, Def is definitely the Dredge, because, I don't know, it just seems powerful. I also have the monochrome on it, so I'm kind of biased there. But, you know, it is how it is. So, I'm going to put the picture on the screen. So, we're going to start out with the Dredge. I don't know about the optics, really. Whatever you prefer for the optics, I prefer the Recon on the Dredge. Um, I like it and it works out fine for me. It makes makes me zoom in and less sway and um, That's what works for me as for the attachments I don't have really any favorite attachments except for grip because grip will help you with the recoil because there is usually Recoil on LMGs and that is not usually a good thing to have going on for you so I would suggest the dredge out of the ML LMGs um, if you want to use another class, I would suggest snipers. Snipers are pretty good in search and destroy when you're trying to be stealthy and not all over the place. Also, let's go to the secondary. If you are good at pistols, I would definitely suggest pistols because, I, I don't know, they just seem a lot more mobile and um, better to go around with than a... Uh, rocket launcher and the rocket launcher also only has one or two um, rocket reloads before you run out and uh, it's not really good for search and destroy I don't think but uh, if you want to use a rocket launcher I guess you can but my favorite would have to be the one I would suggest would be a pistol or maybe even the knife if you get up close you know when they're de planning or defusing the bomb you can just go up and knife them really quickly now the lethal, I'm gonna have to say I go with the trip mine for this one um, because you can let you'll know when people are there. Of course, it'll explode. That's why C4 would also be good. You can know where people are, and then uh, on the C4 you can obviously explode it and they'll probably kill them. Um, it may not kill them on the trip wire if you detonate it, but uh, if it detonates, but it will let you know that people are near so I do like that also the shock for the same reason on the tactical because you'll know right where that person is right where you threw that shock and you can locate them and kill them and take them out easily now for the perks I'm going to uh, have to say that ghost is my favorite perk um, because you want to be stealthy you don't want to really be seen and um, you're gonna want to go uh, silently and be non-detected while you're playing this game mode um, for perk 2 I guess cold-blooded would be alright um, otherwise I think any uh, perk 2 that you want would be okay and would work out fine whichever one you feel the most comfortable with and then perk 3 I'm gonna have to say dead silence or awareness those um, would be a tie for me because dead silence you don't want to be heard obviously but then if you um, use awareness um, you can hear people a lot easier you could also even like take up the third perk and like second perk three and take out your perk two and use both of them that would be a good choice also um, on this picture that I have on screen I do not have silence or um, dead silence or awareness equipped I have gung-ho but that's I know I don't know anyway and then the specialist I would suggest to use is definitely I'm gonna have to say the ripper or active camo either the specter ones are gonna be great um, ripper because it loads really really quickly and it's you're gonna get it multiple times in a search and destroy match um, 
and you can come up and melee people just like the knife also the active camo you want to be undetected and that's the best way to go undetected at least for a little bit of time I think it's about 15 seconds that you have the active camo I'm not exactly sure of the exact time um, there is one specialist that you do not want to use on search and destroy unless you do not want to use specialist is the reaper scythe because it takes forever to load even with overclock it takes forever to load so hopefully you guys uh, can benefit from this hopefully it helps you out um, it really helped me out because I was using I wasn't doing too well then I started using uh, the dredge 48 dredge and I got really good at it and I was doing better so um, make sure to like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos it's been Kevin Aberger, and I'll see you all in the next video thank you for watching